Hey YouTube, this is LinkJB25 and I'm going to show you the videos I've made with Pinnacle and my solution to the problems we have with OBS. Okay, now if you guys have used OBS, you know by now that when you make a file, it comes out as an MP4 file. So for example, if you look over here, this file right here is MP4. I made that with OBS untouched now if you guys have used pinnacle you know that after you put that mp4 into pinnacle and try to convert it the graphics look horrible well I found out that it's because of the format for some weird reason pinnacle doesn't like the mp4 format um, now the way around it that I found out is you have to convert the mp4 file into an mpeg2 file before you put it into pinnacle I'm going to warn you though, it doesn't help much. Now, let me show you an example of how it would look if you do, did the MP4 file just straight to convert it to MP2 using Pinnacle. You know, just using video, just as is and putting it in Pinnacle. This is how it will look, and this is with on 1080p. I mean, you can see this is 1080p and it looks horrible. The best way I found out to do it is to convert that into MPEG-2 and then put it into Pinnacle and then make the extractive video, the end product, as an MPEG-2 as well under 1080i. This is what it looks like. And this is the best quality I could get with Pinnacle after I did all that. Hello YouTube, this is LinkJB25. As you can see, you can kind of see it. It's still kind of blurry. But this is the best. I've been able to get with Pinnacle without having to do anything or pay for anything. If you guys want to know how to convert an MP4 to an MPEG-2, um, you can either pay for the Wondershare Video Converter. It's a good product that will do it for you. Or you can use Handbrake. And that program is free. You don't have to pay anything for that one. But like I said, that 1080i video I showed you guys is the best I've been able to get with Pinnacle. Now, if you're desperate and you don't want to go through a lot of work, what I suggest, I finally found out, is to use a program called Wondershare Filmora. This baby right here is a godsend for OBS videos. Um, I've went through a lot of videos. This seems to be the one that it's best for me. You don't even have to do much. Like Pretty much, you just record your video, and when you're done, you just drag it in here. Um, put whatever you're gonna put in there, like music, comments, or whatever, and then you just, you know, do the files in MP4 in the end, and boom, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. It's a godsend. Um, it at the time I bought it, there was a deal going on. I got mine for thirty dollars. Okay, now this video I made with Filmora, just straight out of OBS. I added, you know, a little bit of music and things like that, but. It's just a it's just a video from OBS as it comes out. Look at that. You can see everything perfect. There's no editing that you have to worry about. I mean that's how you can do it without having too much worries. It's thirty dollars, you have to pay a little out of pocket, but you won't have to worry about it anymore. Now, if you just want to see how it is, you can just download the um, Wondershare Filmora, and it'll let you make a video. Um, of course, when it comes out, you have the watermark that will prevent you from, you know, seeing the video perfect. But it will show you how it will come out. So, anyway, this is, like I said, this was my solution to this. Uh, I saw a lot of people having problems with it, so hopefully this will help you guys out, okay? Alright, well, thank you for watching YouTube.